The question here is, what is your current profession? Okay, and profession means your job. Right? What do you do? So our structure is, my current profession is, and then you follow it with whatever the job is. So my example sentence is, my current profession is a mechanical engineer. Okay, my current profession is a mechanical engineer. The question here is, what is one thing you always tell in your personal commercial or your personal introduction? Okay, so when someone asks about you, right, and you give them a little bit of a paragraph about yourself, what is one thing you always say? Um, the structure is going to be one thing I always tell people during my personal commercial or introduction is, and then you say what you say or what it is you tell people. So our example sentence here is, one thing I always tell people during my personal commercial is that I love being outdoors. Okay, I'll do the other version. One thing I always tell people during my personal introduction is that I love being outdoors. The question here is, what is your dream job? Okay, so now a dream job is, you know, if you could do anything in the world, right? Didn't matter about how much school you had to go to or, you know, where you had to live. If you could pick any job, that would, what would it be? That's your dream job. So here our structure is, my dream job is to be, okay, and then you say what it is you want to be. So our example sentence is, my dream job is to be an explorer and discover new lands. One more time. My dream job is to be an explorer and discover new lands. The question here is, what is something you dwell on? Okay, so what is something you dwell on? Dwell on means you think about it a lot, right? And it's normally not a good way of thinking about it. It's maybe you made a mistake and you can't stop thinking about it, okay? So that you're dwelling on it. So our structure is just going to be, I dwell on, okay? And then whatever it is that you dwell on, right? Or think about too much. So my example sentence is, I dwell on my mistakes too much. I just need to let them, or sorry, I need to just let them pass when they happen. Okay, let me read this one more time. I dwell on my mistakes too much. I need to just let them pass when they happen. Okay? And you, you heard me say the sentence uh, incorrectly at first. That's because you can use the word need and just in different positions. It could be I just need to or I need to just. Either way would be fine. Okay, the question here is, how would you describe the perfect boss? And our structure is going to be, in my opinion, the perfect boss is someone who, okay, and we have that nice introductory phrase at the beginning to kind of give us a pause and set up what we're going to say. So again, in my opinion, the perfect boss is someone who, okay, our example sentence is, in my opinion, the perfect boss is someone who doesn't micromanage and lets the staff work freely. So here, maybe you're not aware of this word here, micromanage. If somebody micromanages, that means that they check every little step that you do, right? So your boss is always looking at every little thing you do. They don't really trust you, um, you know. If someone micromanages, they can't just give you a project and then go away and let you work on it. They have to check everything. So a lot of times that can be very annoying to people. Job. Work. Profession. Career. Boss. Supervisor. Employer. 
Employee. Coworker. Thrilled. Suitable. Branch. Transfer. Upcoming. Opportunity. Partnership. Verbs. To introduce someone to someone else. To follow someone. To transfer. To describe something, someone. To show something to someone. To take over someone. To forget about something. To update something. To dwell on something. Phrases. Personal commercial. To speak on the phone. To take a seat. At short notice, B R E. On short notice, A M E. Introductions in formal settings. Vocabulary. Job. Work. Profession. Career. Boss. Supervisor. Employer. Employee. Coworker. Thrilled. Suitable. Branch. Transfer. Upcoming. Opportunity. Partnership. Verbs. To introduce someone to someone else. To follow someone. To transfer. To describe something, someone. To show something to someone. To take over someone. To forget about something. To update something. To dwell on something. Phrases. Personal commercial. To speak on the phone. Take a seat. At short notice. On short notice. Introducing yourself with a personal commercial. Introducing yourself with a personal commercial. Good morning. You must be Mr. Craig. Yes, this is correct. I'm here for a job interview. Nice to meet you, Mr. Craig. I'm Julie Richards. I'm the hiring manager at Paradise Travels. We spoke on the phone. I'm pleased to meet you, Miss Richards. Follow me, please. Here, take a seat. Thank you. Thank you for agreeing to come on such short notice. Not a problem, ma'am. I was thrilled to receive a call from your company so quickly. We would like to find a suitable candidate and start the training as soon as possible, since one of our employees is going to be transferred to another branch on the west coast. Oh, I see. So, could you describe yourself in a couple of sentences? Surely, as the digital marketing strategist with more than five years of experience, I'm responsible for developing solutions to meet the client's brand objectives based on consumer needs. I'm acutely aware of the rapidly growing influence of digital media and think of myself more as a connection strategist. Thus, I'm driven to create data-driven, outcome-focused, customer-centric strategies. This is an excellent response. And as to your educational background? Thank you. I completed my bachelor's degree in marketing from the University of Pennsylvania. During my undergraduate education, I worked on a wide range of projects that have allowed me to put what I've learned in the classroom into practical use. Great. Let's talk a little bit about your current position. Introducing yourself before a meeting. Before we start the meeting, why don't we introduce ourselves? We have quite a few new faces in our branch. Ben, can you start? Certainly, Mrs. Daniels. Hi, everyone. My name is Ben Craig. I'm the digital marketing strategist. I've been with the company for three weeks now. Currently, I'm working on updating the company's digital media presence and building online partnerships, which I'm going to dwell on in my presentation. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Introductions in formal settings. Vocabulary. Job. Work. Profession. Career. Boss. Supervisor. Employer. 
employee, coworker, thrilled, suitable, branch, transfer, upcoming, opportunity, partnership, verbs, to introduce someone to someone else, to follow someone. To transfer. To describe something, someone. To show something to someone. To take over someone. To forget about something. To update something. To dwell on something. Phrases. Personal, commercial. To speak on the phone. Take a seat. At short notice, on short notice. Introductions in formal settings. Vocabulary. Job. Work. Profession. Career. Boss. Supervisor. Employer. Employee. Coworker. Thrilled. Suitable. Branch. Transfer. Upcoming. Opportunity. Partnership. Verbs. To introduce someone to someone else. To follow someone. To transfer. To describe something, someone. To show something to someone. To take over someone, to forget about something, to update something, to dwell on something. Phrases. Personal commercial. To speak on the phone. Take a seat. At short notice, British English. On short notice, American English. Introducing yourself with a personal commercial. Introducing yourself with a personal commercial. Good morning. You must be Mr. Craig. Yes, this is correct. I'm here for a job interview. Nice to meet you, Mr. Craig. I'm Julie Richards. I'm the hiring manager at Paradise Travels. We spoke on the phone. I'm pleased to meet you, Miss Richards. Follow me, please. A little later. Here, take a seat. Thank you. Thank you for agreeing to come on such short notice. Not a problem, ma'am. I was thrilled to receive a call from your company so quickly. We would like to find a suitable candidate and start the training as soon as possible, since one of our employees is going to be transferred to the other branch on the west coast. Oh, I see. So. Could you describe yourself in a couple of sentences? Surely, as the digital marketing strategist with more than five years of experience, I'm responsible for developing solutions to meet the client's brand objectives based on consumer needs. I'm acutely aware of the rapidly growing influence of digital media and think of myself more as a connection strategist. Thus, I'm driven to create data-driven, outcome-focused, customer-centric strategies. This is an excellent response, and as to your educational background, thank you. I completed my bachelor's degree in marketing from the University of Pennsylvania. During my undergraduate education, I worked on a wide range of projects that have allowed me to put what I've learned in the classroom into practical use. Great. Let's talk a bit about your current position. Introducing yourself before a meeting. Introducing yourself before a meeting. Before we start the meeting, why don't we introduce ourselves? We have quite a few new faces in our branch. Ben, can you start? Certainly, Mrs. Daniels. Hi, everyone. My name's Ben Craig. I'm the digital marketing strategist. I've been with the company for three weeks now. Currently, I'm working on updating the company's digital media presence and building online partnerships. Which I'm going to dwell on in my presentation. Thank you. Thanks, Ben.